and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Laurels and today I'm going to be reviewing American Gods by Neil Gaiman. As you can see there has been a change of scenery. My office was in the spare bedroom and one of our friends is going to be coming in and living with us which is really exciting but it means that we had to move all my office stuff into our bedroom and my bookshelves don't fit behind my desk anymore so you can just look at these photos. Neil Gaiman, American Gods. Wow, I don't even know where to start with this book, really. The main character is a guy named Shadow, and the book starts when he is just about to get out of prison. He has like a week left, and he's very excited to get home to his wife, Laura. In the first maybe 10 pages of the book, you find out that his wife has had a horrible car accident and has died and he's going to be released early. The rest of the book is him dealing with the grief of his wife and kind of going on this long journey throughout America. Shadow gets on a plane and that is where he meets Wednesday who is this weird mixture of a man and a god and basically the premise of this book is that the old gods that were brought over here with the immigrants, Celtic gods, African gods, are at war with America's new gods. And America's new gods are things like technology, cell phones, television, the internet. Throughout the book, Shadow goes on a journey with Wednesday. He does this because his wife has passed and he doesn't really know what else to do and he kind of just gets roped into working for Wednesday. We see as he tries to deal with all the strange happenings between the real world and the world of the gods. The main characters, we see Shadow and we see Wednesday. Those are the two main characters. This book is very long and there's a lot of different sub stories inside the story so it's hard to pinpoint another one of the main characters. Shadow is really quiet and withdrawn but very logical and he doesn't really project that out on the world so nobody knows really what he's thinking. Wednesday is kind of hard to pin down. He's kind of sleazy, a little creepy but really cunning and all the other characters are very intriguing you know they've got rich histories a lot of background so i liked the characters the themes of this book there's a lot of nods to religion there's a theme about technology and the obsession that american culture has with technology there's a lot of talk about love and trust gosh i really don't know what to say about this I did not enjoy reading this book. I had to push myself through it. I thought it was kind of slow, but I was very confused by it because I really liked the characters. I enjoyed the plotting of the story, how old religion is fading and the things that America now worships. How much time do we spend on the internet? Hello, YouTube. The writing is obviously amazing. It's Neil Gaiman, very poetic, very descriptive, but I didn't feel like there was anything pulling me through the plot. There was nothing that caught my attention and I was like, I need to know this. So it took me about a month and a half to finish this book, which is a very, very long time for me. I'm a pretty fast reader because I didn't care. I could set it down and not think about, oh, what's going to happen? I don't know. Have you guys read this? Did you feel that? Because this won awards, you know, it won the Hugo and the Nebula Award. People love this book. People love Neil Gaiman. It's my first Gaiman book and I was just like, eh. It kind of reads like the Odyssey, like very thick, slow storytelling. It's got a lot of mythology, and I love that each character kind of reflects a god, but I also felt stupid. Like, I felt like I should know more of the references that he was making in this book, and I didn't. And you don't want to read a book that makes you feel like you're not intelligent. As I was reading it, I was like, I'm not sure I'm getting the full meaning of this book. And maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it. I enjoy the style of Neil Gaiman. I like his writing. I like the kind of creepy factor of his book. I'm sure that I'll love his other books because I've heard they're amazing. I really like, you know, haunted, dark, mysterious kind of books. This book was not for me though. It's got great writing. It's got great description. A lot of awesome historical, mythological references, but the plot was too thick and too plotting for me. And I have the author's preferred text, which has 10,000 extra words in it. So maybe the first book goes a little bit faster. <laughs> I feel like I missed out a lot on this review, but really, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I need to know what you guys thought. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Do you have the same feelings as I do? Do you feel like it was slow like I did? How long did it take you to read it? I have a lot of questions for you. So if you've read this, please comment and tell me what you thought. Tell me how his other books are compared to this one. Tell me how his other books are in general. I need to know. All right, that was my review. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment. I need to know what you guys thought. Make sure you check out my other book reviews, subscribe for more videos weekly, and as always, have a glittery day. Bye!